Kumar Joshi from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is Effective Technical Communication class and we are discussing the topic on technical writing. In this topic today we are going to talk about a very important aspect for students that is resume writing. Now here we are going to see two types of resumes that is resumes for people with no work experience and resumes for people who have work experience. Also, we will see the different formats of resumes and we will see what are the contemporary formats of resumes. What kinds of resumes people write nowadays. So first of all, let us see that what to write in a resume when you are a fresher or you don't have any work experience. So first of all, it is important to follow a particular format. Resumes should always be very simple. You should give headings, write them in bold so that they are, they are clearly seen. And you have to divide your resume into different sections. For example, you have to write down about your result of your 12th standard or your qualification, your post-graduation, graduation, then give a separate section to each of them. Now, very important aspect in the resume with no work experience is that you must focus on giving details about your education, more details about your education. That means that you must give details about the area of your interest in your studies. Whatever you have studied, give a detail. Whatever projects you have undertaken during your graduation or post-graduation, give details about that. That is important in a resume with no work experience. The most important thing in this resume is the objective statement or the summary of the resume. The objective statement actually talks about your life objective. So it has to be one statement, not a very long one, but it describes your entire objective about your career. So you have to write objective in such a manner, which is in alignment with the growth of the company where you are applying into. And which is also in alignment with your studies. So think properly and write an objective statement. It should be an honest one. You should not copy anyone else's objective. Write an objective if it is an honest one only. Now next important section of this resume is the skills section. Now because here you are a fresher, you do not have any experience, you cannot prove what you have done till now. But at least you can highlight your skills. So make your skills section a more attractive one. Tell about many different skills. For example, working in an organization requires good teamwork or people skills, good communication skills. So write down about all those skills that you have and highlight them. Again, in this resume, the certifications and all the awards that you have achieved during your schooling and in your college life are also very important. Next, you should also mention about any kind of volunteer work that you have done. Because when a person does a volunteer work, it shows that you have an ability of taking an initiative. You do not work only forcefully. You have your own free will and you do what you have thought to do. So that, that is why it is important to mention your volunteer work also. And lastly, mention your hobbies and interests because organization would also like to know what kind of person you are and mention the languages that you know. So these are the things that you, have, that you have to mention as a fresher in a resume. You have to highlight these things in your resume. Now the next is the resume for a person who is an experienced one. So in a resume where you have already some work experience, the first section must start with your experience. And you must follow a reverse chronology. That means write about the latest experience first followed by the experience before that and then before that and the earliest one. 
so reverse chronology has to be followed because your latest assignment is the most important assignment for the organization who is going to recruit you now in the experience section what you have to mention you should mention the name of the company the duration of your assignment in that company how many years you have worked in that company your designation in that company and about your work profile what you did there in that particular designation now then comes the extra activities and skills section but because you already have a lot of experience which is related to work life this section should not be elaborated much when you were fresher you elaborated this section but here you need not elaborate you can just mention your extra activities or extra skills but there is no need because in your first section you have written about your job profile and your job profile says it all it talks about your skills also so the skill section should not be elaborated in this particular resume but what you need to elaborate in this resume is your role in the last job assignment what role you played in that organization is the most important thing you have to highlight over here also do not forget to mention your achievements in a professional life and at the end put references if you are asked by the recruiters now generally when the recruiters or the organizations ask for resumes they would also ask to mention references if they don't if if they don't ask to mention then do not put otherwise put references and if in your references you have put your previous employers then that is a best thing to do because it gives a very good impression that if your previous employers will tell positive about yourself then that is the best thing so this is a resume for a person who has an experience where the focus is mostly on the experience now about the format of both of these always go in a list format one by one but separate them in sections do not write in tables but write in a simple format now let us see how differently we can write down the resumes or in other words we can say what are different types of resume so the first type of resume is a functional resume now as the name suggest the functional resume actually talks all about the profile or the work or the kind of work that you were involved in your last assignment or the last job so functional talks about what rather than when that means it doesn't talk about that i worked in this particular organization first i worked in this then i worked in that it doesn't follow any chronology now functional resume is very important for people who have large gaps in their career they can use this they only give the functions that i have done this 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 but when you have done need not be mentioned but only what you have done needs to be mentioned now the second resume is the chronological resume so as the name suggests chronological resume follows a chronology for example you start with the latest experience then the older one then the older one and the earliest experience after the experience you will go to the latest qualification maybe the post graduation then graduation then you will go to the hsc result then ssc result that that is called chronology you go in go by the sequence but in resumes we always follow a reverse chronology because it is very important to focus on what is the latest now the fourth resume is the scannable resume scannable resume is a resume which is written on a computer where your resume can be tracked by people now a scannable resume is written so that companies who use ats that means applicant tracking system many organizations use applicant tracking system through which they pick up resumes from the internet how do they do it they do it by keywords 
So a scannable resume is something which uses keywords which describes you in the best manner. So for example, a software engineer must use words like the software, computer, coding, development, certain words which highlights his or her own profile and skills. This is called a scannable resume. Now the last and the final resume is the visual resume. A visual resume is something which is written with a very good designing. Nowadays, visual resumes are the latest resumes. You use your own design with some kind of colors also, which suits to your own personality. And you make the resume a very visual one. It looks attractive visually. But you need not forget about the content part. Whatever we have discussed till now, take care of that content. That content should be perfect. But at the same time, you are making it visually very attractive. Now, visual resumes should be chosen in a manner which describes your own personality and which is also suitable for the job profile. Certain things needs to be taken care when you use a visual resume. You should not use very attractive and bright colors in the visual resume. Do not use any gaudy colors on and do not use many colors in the resume. Now the best way to use the visual resume is to search for the templates on the internet. If you google for the template on the internet, you will get many visual resumes. So nowadays these ready-made templates are already available. You can just pick them up and fill up your details in the resumes. So you can make your resumes very attractive. Now another part of this visual resume is also a new one and which is being used very less but still it is there and that is called a video resume. What is a video resume? So a video resume is something where you record a video where you speak about yourself. Whatever you, are, you have uh, mentioned in the written resume, you just speak it in your video and you send that clipping to the organization. So that is called a video resume. Now this video resume is very helpful for the organizations because one is that they come to know about the person and another thing is that they can even see the person and have, a, have an idea about the personality of the person, about the communication skills and presentation of the person. So that is the video resume. So today we studied about two resumes that is resume for a fresher with no experience and resume for people who have experience in life and then we studied about four different types of resumes that is functional resume, chronological resume, scannable resume and visual resume. So I hope whatever we have studied today you have understood it well. Thank you.